SMT Nation, we back. Nation, I was doing some Verizon 5G Ultra Wideband testing over the holiday, and uh, the, the network's performing really, really nicely uh, when it comes to Verizon's you know, C-band build. Uh, the depth of the build is really starting to show uh, here, at least in my market. I, I know every location can vary and is different. Some place Verizon is not active yet in their upgrades. So, uh, you know, I just like to share my experiences and, and kind of show what they're doing here. And it's really, really impressive. And I'm really starting to see some incredible throughput. And of course, this only benefits the customer as their network experience improves. And then the possibility of maybe using the, the Verizon 5G home internet, right? That opportunity opens up as they scale these upgrades. All right. So if you guys want to follow me on X, the artist formerly known as Twitter, I'll put my uh, link and handle in the description for you guys to check it out where I post a lot of these images and photos. And uh, of course, ways to support the SMT. Show your appreciation for the content here on the channel. Those links are in the description as well. All right, so to give you guys a little bit of a rundown on the testing, iPhone 14 Pro Max. Uh, the testing was done in the evening after dinner. You're looking at about a 6.30 p.m. time. Uh, this site that I'm testing, without a doubt, a 10 gig fiber circuit. You got yourself 140 megahertz of N77. Now that is the lowest bandwidth of C-band that Verizon has across any market in the country. Uh, on average, they typically have 160 megahertz. Some markets they have 180 and many they even have 200 megahertz. So here they only have 140. They have an additional uh, 30 megahertz of CBRS as well here, but it's not on 5G. So... There's some aggregation and stuff that's coming down the pipeline once they launch a 5G standalone core, uh, but we're not there yet. But anyways, with respect to this testing, the 5G ultra wideband, the C band continues to improve. This is Samsung radio gear, meaning the radios and antennas that are on the tower sites. All right, we're not talking about the phone. The phone is an iPhone 14 Pro Max. You have a 100 megahertz channel of N77 aggregating with a second 40 megahertz channel of N77. Aggregating or combining those two channels for a total of 140 megahertz in bandwidth, and the throughput is very good. 1.2 gigs per second on the downlink, 131 megabits per second on the uplink. And this was just a random tower site that I was driving by uh, that I know exists there. I've, I've tested it before, but I've never seen this type of throughput. So what I think is happening is with the software upgrades and the over-the-air upgrades for uh, you know, the radio gear with Samsung, uh, we are seeing improved performance. And I think what's happening is the engineers are kind of doing a little bit of tuning and finding ways to make the, you know, the connection more stable, more reliable, perform better, getting more efficiency out of it. And I think just the fact that they've densified, right? All the towers are now upgraded here. Uh, very few and far in between that haven't been upgraded yet. And they're still densifying with CRAN and small cells. And those sites don't even have 5G ultra wideband yet. They don't have N77 yet, right? So there is still room for them to add more capacity on air and then improve the mobile network experience and then also monetize with 5G home internet. And they could take share from companies like Spectrum or AT&T with DSL and stuff like that. Anyways, there is a lot of run room for them. They can still get better. So this is a really exciting update as we're seeing the 10 gig fiber circuits have scaled. The upgrades with the antennas and radios have scaled. And it's just a matter of time until uh, I think, you know, everybody basically sees this wherever they are. Now, like I said, it's all it's all network. Uh, it's all regional dependent, area dependent. Right. There's some place where Verizon doesn't have considerable market share and it may not get that attention. My market has 50 percent share for Verizon. So they are heavily invested here and it makes sense for them to do so. But uh. Hopefully this scales in more places across the country. I would say that my market being a top 15 PA, you know, most of the top 50 are going to perform like this and look like this. Uh, we're going to see more of this happen in the next 50, right? From like 50 to 100. And hopefully within the next year or so, we'll see more markets across the country, even the smaller ones, getting the upgrades and getting some much needed love in the form of modernization, right? No more of those band 13 only sites. You know, sites that are on 13 or band 66 only, they get upgraded. And we see more of the spectrum on air and more frequencies on air. And, you know, Verizon can return to greatness across the entire country. Anyways, 
incredible speed test. I'm going to continue to test this more so when I get some new phones. I'm working on getting a new iPhone and I'm working on getting the new S24 in the winter just in a couple of months and we'll do more testing for you guys here. Uh, but be on the lookout. I'm going to do some live testing and some recorded videos of these tower sites so you guys can see how it is in real world usage. We'll, we'll test it. We'll download some apps and games and some other things and you guys can see how it's performing in real world usage. Anyways, tell me what you guys think of these results, my testing, and what you're seeing. Love to hear what you have to say on this. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.